Hi guys, Wanda here. I am doing something crazy tonight. And of course I have to lower my camera again. Hang on just a second. If anybody's out there, say hello. So tonight I want to, oops, it sticks to me. Um, make some fun 3D dragonfly wings, which I was successful creating these with uh, UV resin, and um, they're totally easy, extra easy, and my idea is, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to execute this, but my idea is to make our dragonfly. These aren't uh, the wings I'm gonna make, but then attach the wings like this so that we have a 3d piece does that make sense and these that I'm making are special because um, here's my can you see the rainbow on my piece of plastic here so I stumbled on this on YouTube and funny enough I have a huge roll of this plastic film so I hurriedly Hurriedly. Anyways, I quickly ran to the closet and grabbed the roll of iridescent rainbow window film and cut out a piece and started some projects. <laughs> so I want to show you what I did. And I haven't tried this yet, so we're going to try this together. These are the wings that I drew on here. So how this is going to go, it's, it's pretty straightforward. But before I do that, <laughs> you guys just thought I was starting, didn't you? I'm going to show you the window film. Hi, Allison. Say hi if you're on so I know you're with me. So this was uh, something I had here in the house, but I did check and it is available on Amazon. It's, see how big this is? It's a very long tube. And it is, I don't even know how many feet long. But it's a big package. And as you can see, I used... Mm, a little tiny bit. This is a hard piece of plastic from a, a clear placemat from the Dollar Tree. And you could do this on that too if you don't have the window clean. You could do it on actually just on uh, some silicone mat or something. But these right here, chopping mats, it comes in a two pack from the Dollar Tree. I know I can't fit it in my camera. Sorry, y'all. I had to lower it down so I could work. Um, anyways, so I have cut out pieces of that. I have some cut out ones that I use for different things, swiping and and curing UV resin. But anyways, I have cut this down and I just taped a piece of this cling to it. And underneath there is um, some wings I cut out. <laughs> it's that simple. That's what I did there. Now... I haven't used it yet, but I think it's going to work because I did this just by pouring resin on this plastic. So, let me show you the cling out of the box. It's clear window film. See how pretty that is? That rainbow effect is important. So, if you do go to Amazon to buy this, which I have so much, you guys, I it would... I don't even know what I would do with all of this. Uh, anyway, so maybe I'll have some contests and send people some. Um, anyways, that rainbow is the important part of the equation here. So they do have this that doesn't have the rainbow, but you want that iridescence because it does transfer. It does transfer with the cure. When you cure the UV resin on it, it totally transfers, which is in my book now I've lost there it is so let me show you this can you see the rainbow that transferred onto it now on the other side I've used alcohol ink and um, that is by naturalist paint I have a sample thank you very much Lori for my she sent some samples of some naturalist supplies um, anyway, so I applied that on there too. 
and I made a couple of different kinds just for you know my demos and now I'm going to with you live here <laughs> no stress no uh you know no pressure I'm gonna try to make some so mr. resin is what I'm using and there's a little bit left in this bottle so I am um, it's not enough to like do a rock but it's enough to do some wings and I have another bottle thankfully but so I'm just gonna apply some you're gonna want to have a stick or a toothpick or something apply it in inside your wing okay don't don't put too much and don't go outside of the wing just like down the center there let me see if you could see this it's hard to see uh, let me turn off this yeah that makes it easier to see see the blob okay so then I have this little stick here, spatula, again, thank you, Lori. She totally sent a care package that is amazing. So uh, I'm going to just take it to the outlines, just spreading it around. Hi, everyone. I'm doing some crazy, some crazy stuff, some experimenting. <laughs> with you guys so happy that you're on with me I'm not looking up right at the moment so I can't see who's here but I'm happy that you're all here so this is 3d butter uh, dragonfly wings I'm gonna start try this see if it works and my idea is to glue them to the rock and have in addition to your painting some you know this wouldn't be a hider rock or you know maybe this would be a gift you'd give a friend or a loved one or something like that or if you do commissions you know you could commission these um stuff like that Lonnie you might like this so I think I've got it in I'm just going to do one first and see if this is even going to work I think it's gonna work though guys cuz because I have faith right you gotta have faith okay so that is spread around I'm going to torch it to make sure there's no bubbles hello everyone so that was UV resin that I just applied to the plastic on top of the plastic <laughs> The window film on top of the plastic so it looks good from the angle I'm just checking it now I'm gonna pop it in the big uh, Beatles UV light for 60 seconds I'm gonna pop that in there and gonna cross the fingers right so while that's going I am going to load my handy dandy low Cornell tool here and line my rock maybe oh there's my ink I'm gonna try to use the ink again hopefully it works guess I should shake it but don't take too much because it puts bubbles in there and that I have noticed is a problem Hello everyone. <laughs> Teresa says I have the coolest toys. Uh, I'm a curious cat. <laughs> so I am going to just get this started and then I'm going to put the cap on it because the light's done. So I'm going to cap the top so it doesn't dry out. Oops. Okay. Good to know. Don't do that. That was, that was silly, huh? Pushes air right through it. Totally fine. If you catch it soon in it, Lord, it's because it's live. Guys. <laughs> All right, there y'all go. Just log off. No, I'm kidding. All right, we could save it. But no worries. We're going to look at the wing. <laughs> Oh, Murphy's Law happens to me every time I get on here. 
That doesn't happen. Anyway, so you just find an edge and peel it off of the plastic. And while it's still warm, kind of bend the end a bit so that you can apply it to your, see there how you get a bend in it? Okay, I'm gonna turn the flash back on so that we can see the rainbow. Isn't that beautiful? Now there's some, see here, because this is a two-part wing. Ah, here, it's a two-part wing. So it has this notch in it. So for that, you can either, they make a, a clear um, paper that you can print on. It's not paper, it's like a plastic, but you can print on it. I think it's a laser printer though. And then um, I don't use a laser printer, so I'm going to use some alcohol ink. Now you can do that two ways. I did this one directly on the wing. I colored on the wing. Or this one, I colored on the plastic and then applied the resin to it. And when I peeled it off, it was on the wing. Then I have, see this little stain here? So it did stain the, the um, whatever that is, plastic mat thing, thing -a thing. <laughs> Anyway, so this I'm going to kind of color a little bit with some alcohol inks. And I can't remember which side I colored. I think it was the side. It doesn't matter because the rainbow shows through on both sides. So, But I'm going to color the top side because it's smooth. So I'm just going to put some colors on. Oops, wrong side. <clears throat> What's everybody up to today? Wanda for president. You're crazy. President of what? The uh, ink spills? I, I did it on the purple lady too. I spilled a blob of ink in her eyeball. Oh my gosh. I am. Okay. I'm a nightmare with the ink. Somebody needs to take the ink away from me. <laughs> so this looks crazy right now, but we're going to take a light color or a white blender. I'm using warm gray just so I can use it. Anyways, I'm gonna blend back these colors kind of together. I know it's gonna make a mud, but I don't like that like choppy look there. Anyways, there's that. And then, see how you get the veins looking in it from the alcohol inks? I think it's so awesome. I'm just adding some blue back in here. Alcohol ink is pretty dang cool, guys. So, then you have, you know, some wingy looking deals that you don't really need to line because this thing has some texture to it. See that? And now you have this really pretty wing that <laughs> I've, I've got to figure out how to fix this mess. But then my idea is to attach it to the rock like so. See the dragonfly underneath there? So, paint the dragonfly. I'm going to use the alcohol inks on the rock as well. Ink is not my friend. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm going to fix that. <laughs> oh, boy. But, okay, so that was the wing. I like that idea. And I'm going to try a little alcohol, which is probably not going to work. So, I'm going to have to get the paint out. Yeah, well, this is a sample rock anyways, so I'm not too awful worried about it. I just want to get some of the gray off of there. Whew. Crazy me. I'm going to stay away from the ink. I'm going to go with Tosca. <laughs> just for tonight. <laughs> if I can find a Tosca, Mr. Tosca. All right, so gonna line our dragonfly wing here. <laughs> Ooh. 
we'll call it a smoggy sky, right? Maybe we're in New York and there's some there's some smog in the sky. <laughs> what do you guys think? You like my ink blot? We're having some therapy up in here, so I thought I'd drop some ink and, you know, make an ink blot. <laughs> Not really, but we can always imagine that. So I'm just kind of looking here and drawing in the lines. I did draw them on here, but I can't see what I did, so... Again, imagining it's not a big deal. They don't even need to be in a pattern per se. They're wings, you know. Okay, so we're going to do one side in the body. Obviously, I actually drew, <laughs> I drew the body. See, you guys, that's why I don't draw, I trace. Trace me. But we're going to color it in because we're going to do some paint. Some, um... Maybe foil. I don't know. Can you guys even see? I'm going to turn the light off because there's too much of a glare. Oh, so much better, right? It is a 1MR Posca Black. Yes. Hello, everyone. So I made this lovely wing. And my idea, my crazy idea here is to attach it. Because it makes a rainbow. And, you know, I like rainbows. But the cool, there's another cool part of this, and I don't know if I can get it to happen through the flash, but it leaves a um, prism effect on the rock. Because, you know, the light shines through it. I'm feeling some uh, rhinestones coming on later, right? That's about the ugliest dragonfly head I could have made, right? Look at those big old eyeballs. Holy moly. Got some attitude, our dragonfly. <laughs> I'm going to be making the other wing. So those of you who just came on, you can see how I made the 3D wing part that we're going to be using. Teresa, um, that's a great idea. Uh, she, Teresa says she was thinking about using resin drips as bubbles. It's beautiful. And I do something similar um, in a couple of my tutorials. The mermaids, I believe, um, where you use a dotting tool, like a dotting rod, and dip it in your um, resin or glue and pop it on your rock and then let it dry in the mound. If you dip it in your glue, then you put a foil on it to make it iridescent. Or you dip it in the resin. If you do resin to resin, it won't work. Because if you resin over your rocks, then that won't show. Because resin completely bonds with itself and will cover up any... So like if I was to put this on the rock and then resin over it, it would just disappear. Like the wing, the color would be there, but the wing would disappear completely. So that's why I want to lift it off of the rock. 
So what you're saying is wonderful if you can discolor it somehow or maybe do a resin drip on top of your resin after you've done the resin. That might work. It actually sounds pretty cool, actually. Okay, so let's color in our dragonfly here. Actually, I'm gonna use watercolor down here because the alcohol inks are very in your face uh, dark. <laughs> so I'm going to use the watercolors because they're gentle and I'm a gentle soul. Okay, not really, but don't tell anybody. So I'm gonna just use some pink here at the tips. Hello everyone. Could you maybe use resin pigment and color the drip? Absolutely. I have not done it, <laughs> but yes, I'm such a chicken to put anything in my resin because you guys watch. I am a nightmare with, with things. So I know that me, I would mess. <laughs> Don't be afraid to do anything. I'm always telling you guys, there's no can't to nothing. So yes, do it, do it and share it if you do it. So pink and yellow, blue make green. So we're gonna probably have green in here since I'm going. I'm gonna use a neon yellow to make see if I can get the yellow to come through. Pretty. Well, I guess the Posca wasn't quite dry there. It's moving. All right, let your paint dry, folks. That's kind of pretty all by itself, huh? So you're thinking about making a drip on a on a plastic, Teresa? Like, let's. You want me to try it? Let's try it. We'll we'll do this too, but I want to try her drip. I think the drip is kind of a cool idea. I'm gonna put some blue in the wings. I'll try it before I get off. I like experimenting. And I'm pretty easy like that. If you guys ever want me to give things a whirl while I got stuff out say it and we will do it Ooh, that's pretty I like that <laughs> yay okay I'm gonna turn the flash back on isn't that cool looks pretty cool just gonna come in here a little bit and That one was alcohol ink, but the others. All right. So to attach these, I, what do you think? Should we use resin to attach it? Or I'm not gonna attach it yet because obviously I have to do some more work, but I'm trying thinking. So guys, give me some ideas. I'll be resining the rock, so while it's wet, should I pop this in? But man, I'd have to hold it. Oh, but you know, I have this. Ha! Duh. Okay. <laughs> Julie, I've I've got you and some friends in Florida that I do need to visit. You know? Okay, so let's do the other wing and we'll make a drip. Um is it okay if I try it on this um stuff, Teresa? <laughs> window cling stuff so I did this one right yeah okay so I am going to make the other side so if you missed the first one I just put a kind of a blob of resin 
in there. It's not a lot. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Okay, I got permission to move on with the project. And a spatula or toothpick or whatever you have handy. Make sure you're wearing gloves and your PPE, guys. Okay. Anyways, spread it around like I showed in the first one. If you missed it, this is just how I did it. I'm spreading it to the black edges here. And that is just a cutout from some wings I printed out. And I literally, the paper is underneath the plastic. It's not even taped down in there. I just taped the plastic on over it. So I've seen them make jewelry this way so I just my brain exploded again when I saw it and uh, I saw somebody making sun catcher prisms with this window cling and UV resin now they weren't making the wings but I put two and two together okay I've seen these kind of wings made on on uh, silicone mats and then I saw this cling they were making round sun catchers and I was like, oh, I see some wings happening. <laughs> yeah, another brain explosion. So, of course, I have to do it live, you know. So, if I mess up, there's a witness. <laughs> At least I tested the theory a bit before I started the venture. But these outlines, I sold, you are first witness to it. All right, guys, what I do with the torch? All right, definitely torch the bubbles out, but not too much because it's plastic, obviously, down there. You don't want to melt it. Okay, into the magic machine, the UV light. Go. 60 seconds. See the neon glow? <laughs> I like neon. So, oops, I forgot to put the drip. That's okay. I will do it, I promise. I'm sorry. You know, this is pretty much a drip. <laughs> so, do you want it like a long, blobby one? Thirty seconds, come on. Okay. Hurry. Close enough. <laughs> I'm so impatient. <laughs> it's good. We need it bendy anyways. We want to be able to bend it. Okay. So, see if you can start it, peel it. Okay, it needs a few more seconds. Darn it, I was hoping it would go. It felt done. <sighs> well, let's look at this guy. So what should we do? Maybe some rhinestones for the body? Oh, I didn't put the legs in. Okay, that should be done. Give me, give it to me. So you just gotta get it to crack. Come on. Well dang guys, you watched me do it a minute ago. I'm gonna have to take my gloves off. And get my pokey thing. Just got a really good seal there. Why, I don't know. Oh, wow, I went through the whole thing. Am I poking on the wrong one? What's going on here, guys? 
There we go. Boy, that one really wanted to stay on there. All right, we got it. Houston, we have a wing. So there's the wing for this side. You gotta bend it while it's a little bit warm. Okay. That was a little more bendy than the other one. But see, see, there's the two wings, but look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? even just by itself. But watch, see the prism effect through the, can you see it on? You're probably not gonna be able to see it. Let me see if I can make it. Can you see it right there? <laughs> you guys can't see it on there. Wow, it's plain as day to me. It's so weird. All right, well. Trick photography. Trust me, there's a prism on the rock under this, and it's like a rainbow casting under there from these. But isn't that pretty? Okay, I owe Teresa some water drops. So I'm thinking uh, I'm going to do a round one. <laughs> it was pretty hard to peel off of there. So hopefully they'll come off. So I'm going to put a drip. Just a one dot. For like a water drop. And then I'm going to do a drip one. Like one with the like a raindrop. Uh, they're gonna better not flow together. Okay, we're gonna cure that. And work over here. Hang on, I gotta get the Step off me. <laughs> Who's having fun here? Teresa, Julie, are you here? You having fun? Who else is here? We got Teresa, Julie, Terry. Hi, Terry. Donna, Ruthie. Jenny, Allison, hello everyone. <laughs> well, at least you guys are keeping me company. I'm so happy about that. So for this wing, I'm going to color also. Anybody know what I did with my pins? And of course I didn't keep the colors out that I used because, oh, those were alcohol. All right, I'm going to try to get these off while they're still warm. That might make a difference. Oh, yeah, peel right off that way. So right when they're done, pull them out, guys. Okay, so look. That's the bottom. That's the bottom of your raindrop. That is awesome. So if you put it on the rock, I see the bubble. And then you've got, there it's on something black so you can see the effect it makes. Cool bubble, huh? There's your bubble, Teresa. Let me show you the raindrop. There's the raindrop. Let me see if it comes through better on the black paper. So, but can you see the rainbow on it? Isn't that pretty? Good call, Teresa. Makes really great bubbles and raindrops. Look, it's even got the light color on top, the dark coat. You could absolutely 100% see the proper shading. 
So if you wanted to paint one, that's exactly how you paint it, you know? Light source coming from over here and shadow coming from over here. So cool. What, okay, Julie's asking, what do you have power for powder for resin? What? Oh, powder. Oh, good Lord, I'm sorry. Well, I have the neon sitting right here. I can try. All right, let's uh, color some resin. <laughs> I'm going to get a... This is the thingamajabi for doing that business. And here's some of the fun neon resin. What color do we want? Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to... Wait. Okay, everybody, we got to let... You guys, did you see what I did with them? <laughs> Teresa, you ready? I'm going to show them again. Hang on, i got to pick them up. Bubble, teardrop. Okay, we're doing purple neon. Teresa, are you on? Can you see it? I'm going to set it down here for you so you can find it while I'm coloring some um, resin. All right. I, mean, I should have left my resin upside down. Pink and purple. Girl, you're making me work. Oh, there's alcohol in there. I better clean that out. Let me put some in here. You can't see it all, Teresa. I'm sorry. Go back out and come back in. Can somebody tag Teresa so she has a link to come back to? Teresa Smitch. Okay, so there's my two colors. I'm not doing a ton because I don't need a ton. Okay, purple and pink. Yes? All right. Spatula. I know it just takes a dang tiny, tiny bit, and these are microscopic amounts, so. This is the first time I've ever done this. I've watched it a lot, but I've never actually done it. But we're going to make a purple and pink wing for sure. Okay, whoops. Get back in now. Oh, look. There's, do you see the notches on there? I wonder. <laughs> you guys, nobody said I was smart with common sense. Nobody ever claimed that. <laughs> Not a single person. Right. Purple. Purple fixing to happen up in here. Julie, you're laughing at me. For my YouTubers that don't get to see the feed, my peoples, they're laughing at me, but they love me. All right. Uh, those cups, Julie, came with my Mr. Resin. It's a kit. I bought, it's 250 gram kit for 39 something. It was on sale, I think. Anyways, you get two of these cups. Uh, some sturdy, sticky things like this. 
and a light. Yeah, you get a six watt light with it too. Mr. Resin all the way. Best resin. I don't ever want to mess around with any other stuff. I just had recently bought some two other resins that were, I did not have good luck with them. However, others have, so I can't say they're bad resin. I'm not happy with them. So what do you want me to do with this now? <laughs> Julie, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to make a wing or what do you want to do? This is all for you, man. Wing? Yeah? Okay. So, let's see. <clears throat> it's not as easy as you think getting it out of here. Oh, there it goes. So, I'm going to mix it with... Um, Purple and clear. Okay, actually I'm going to put some of that over on the other one too. I'm going to make another set of wings. This is hilarious. I'm like totally a mess here. Oh well. I think it'll work out though. So we'll just kind of drag it around. Sounds like I'm fixing to get company. My son's coming in. Everybody say hi, Austin. Buddy, you got to put a mask on if you come over. Okay, he left. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add some clear so I can get some movement. Julie, there's a um, there's a kit you can buy or just the outright resin. So you got to make sure that when you're buying Mr. Resin that it says the kit if you want the stuff. I bought the kit because they were out of the other. I would never have bought it, but I'm kind of glad I did. I like these little cuppy things. All right here. Let's see what I can get going. I'm trying to make the colors. Can you see the veins in the colors? This is so much fun, you guys. Oh my gosh. I might have a new hobby here. I know this is not painting rocks per se, but it's decorating rocks. So we are a teaching mixed media group. So it's still a win, right? I'm thinking about doing a canvas again pretty soon. Can you guys see over my hand? Okay. Okay, I'm going to cure it. Oh, cross your fingers. Ooh, there was a lot of bubbles. Okay, stirring in pigment, there gets a lot of bubbles, so. Ooh, I think they're gone. Look, that's gonna be so pretty. Okay, you ready? Ready, ready. Okay, think about all the things you can do with these, okay? I gotta put on my sunglasses, uh, UV light. Um, we can make earrings, necklaces, hair clips, really pretty dragonfly rocks. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. 
Where did my other wings run off to? <coughs> wow, that's really strong. Um, I've never had it this close to my face before. Ooh. I should put, I gotta put my mask back on. Hang on. Okay, this is the Naturalist. It's this company, Naturalist Paint Company. And they sell this, I forgot what it's called. What's it called? Hollow Sparkle, okay? I don't actually own that. Oh, look, this is glow in the dark. <laughs> this is their glow in the dark paint. That's beautiful. Can you guys see it? This one is gallery grade. Where does it say glow? It said glow somewhere, dang it. Oh, there it is, glow clear UV. Anyways, I am going to apply this pretty bling bling to this wing. What do you think? I'm gonna put it on the side that I colored to seal that in because this did seal the other one really nicely when it dried. So I'm literally just painting it on. It's so dang beautiful. It does have a pretty strong odor too. Wow, I could smell it through my mask. I would say this paint is worth its weight in gold. Look at that beautiful thing. Me too, Julie. I've been requesting samples for forever. And finally, Lori dared to send me some. I think I... Lori, you're going to have to tell me how to say your name. <laughs> your last name. I keep forgetting to ask you how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. But look at that. That's without the light. Now look through the other side. See the rainbow from the window cling? Now watch. Now you get the rainbow from the window cling and the hollow from that glitter. Unbelievable. No, it just, um, I think the patterns are still there, see? You can still see through it. Come on, focus. Blur. All right, are we ready here? They feel different. Okay, these definitely, when you use the powder in them, these feel sticky with the same amount of time. Ooh, they're harder, but I let them sit there for a minute, so it might be my fault. So they may just need a tad bit more curing time, but look how beautiful. Let me bend that. Or break it. It didn't break, thank goodness. Oh, that's a good thing. <laughs> All right, let me get this one off here before it will no longer come off. Bend it. Bend this one some more. Okay. Looky there. Julie, you still with me? Look, your wings. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix boo-boos. I need to cover up my workstation here. Uh, because I'm fixing to make a mess. Oh, wow, I just did make a mess, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty. I sparkle like hollow. Okay. 
Game changer, huh? Look, and these are solid. Like, look, see you still have that rainbow. You can still see it through this side too if you have it in the right light. See it? It's hard to focus here, but so good. So cool. Hang on here. All right, I always keep handy these block sanders things like this. Now this ink will probably have gone through the Santorini. But you guys see I have something else on there. That was a different live. <laughs> And I always keep a brush around for cleaning up my messes. And because these are kind of firmer, they have these corners and stuff on them. You can really get up into smaller spots. And don't worry about the clouds because, you know, it's clouds and we can fix that. And they don't even have to match because skies, blue skies. This was watercolor paint, but I'm just going to use a little, actually I might dampen it with a brush first. Just wet my rock a bit here. And add some color in there. Look at that. Voila! What ink? What ink? What you talking about? Huh? What ink? <laughs> uh, name a wet paper. Oh, are you talking about the window clean? This stuff? I'll link it also. Uh, we bought this to blur, uh, oh, word. We have a front door that's clear, obviously. We wanted some privacy, so <laughs> we put this in our windows and it completely blurs the view. And there's so much left. So when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, right? So I fixed the boo boo. Well, that part we're not going to look at, but I would still keep sanding it away. <laughs> and I'm just going to touch up my line here. And I think I'm going to put a little Should I put anything here before we do the resin and try to attach everything? I think here yeah, I'm going to do some chrome powder. <laughs> okay, watch this. I better color my other wing too before I forget, huh? Because then I'm going to be ready for the wings to be attached and not be, not have them all colored. Right, we gotta pick a color for the body. It's gonna be iridescent. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> Julie, you are a rock star. Go girlfriend. So I think I'm gonna use this because it's it's crazy. This looks purple, but it goes it turns like this pretty aqua color. Or I probably maybe shouldn't use that because that, oh, I don't know. Or this one. Oh, let's do this one. Sorry. Maybe we'll do them both. Okay, so. Let's 
So to get the effect that I'm looking for, I'm going to grab a disposable eyeliner brush and my top coat, my UV top coat. mess over here guys <clears throat> okay I'm gonna put some in here and I'm basically gonna use it just the same way that I use my foil glue but I'm going to be using UV top coat and I'm going to do it on the body here And I'm going to try to give a little bit of separation, like where the um, body bits would be. I'm going to do the wings also, but I'm going to do those in a holographic um, chrome powder. So this dragonfly is just going to be all kinds of blingy in 3D. Okay, and then I'm going to do the wings. And I'm not going to do any separation because we have the black underline there. So I'm just going to fill it in with the top coat. If I'm missing questions, I do apologize. I can't read it right at the moment. So if you guys are wondering how I did the background on this, that blue cloudy look, that was another live I did a while back. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but if you hashtag Wanda Live, um, you can scroll back through my lives and look for, I think it's clouds, watercolor clouds or easy cloud trick or huh, something. I'll try to find it and link it to, I always forget what I say I'm going to link. So. If somebody wants to link me my links, that'd be awesome. Julie, no, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. Anyways, this is so cool. It's you just apply watercolor. Just wet your rock really, really wet. Grab a blue color of watercolor. It could be gel watercolor, powder. I mean, you know, the pans. It could be a liquid. Um, whatever watercolor pens. Anyways, you just put the color in there and then you take a wadded up paper towel or toilet paper, tissue, whatever, and wad it up to where it has different patterns in it and take some of the color back out. Ooh, I also did it on the unicorn, or no, that was a of the Pegasus rock I did not too long ago, last week or the week before, for Katie. Her name was Katie, my neighbor, C-A-D-E-E. -E. So you can look up how I did it there too. Yes, I'm doing a great big area, this whole thing at once. I don't recommend it, but we're live, so I'm trying to save a little bit of time. All right, torch out your bubbles. The price of that stuff jumps big time with the size. Goes from $6.99 to $19.99. Um, are you talking about like the size of the roll because you literally you can split the roll between a hundred people I'm seriously you guys I could send it to you I just don't have that many stamps but I know that's crazy but I can send you guys like an envelope full of this stuff if you want to sign up for it totally I'll take names okay let's see cure this for I'm looking for my light light source 
Oh, you know what? This is top coat. We can use the big guy. Yeah, you can use the top coat. You can use the big guy. I'm thinking nail glue. Nail glue, you have to use the six watt. Top coat, resin, all that goes in the big guy. Hi, Debbie. Nice to see you on. Hi, Shay. Candace and Robin. Julie. Who else I got here? Wow, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. We're having a crazy time tonight, aren't we? Anybody just popping in need a br um, brush up on what I did? I can uh, show you real quick. So we are going to do some holographic. Can you see it through there? On the wings. And the company is Naturalist. Naturalist Paint. You're welcome, Candace. Absolutely. And Allison, my pleasure, you guys. I love this. I love sharing. Hi, Judy. Okay, that's good enough. We're going to call that cured. Or maybe not. <laughs> Holy moly, it should have been done by now. It doesn't need to be all the way done because... Oh, well, I used nail art foil glue, so it's done. <laughs> you guys, they look identical. Look at this. But you can still do it with nail art foil glue. But look. It's a it's an innocent mistake. <laughs> it, it will still work. It was just, it's a lot easier with the other one. Okay, watch. Watch people watch. Okay, we're going to do the body first. Look how gorgeous is that. And my favorite tool for this is a bare finger, but since I have allergies to UV and stuff, I'm going to use this silicone nail knit. Thank you, Julie. Oh my gosh, thank you. Wow, Julie. So fantastic. Okay, so this you just seriously grab just, you don't like grab a spoonful, you just dip it so it coats the thing. And then you rub it on. So you rub it on and it like seriously makes this crazy, crazy chrome powder looking thing. So I'm going to grab this beautiful stuff that turns like a turquoise color. So you can't even see it, right? Watch this, guys. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I love it. So I'm going to blend them a bit. And then once you get the powder on, just take your finger and buff it. Okay? And it's done. Good and done. You see that? Yes, these are chrome powders. This this is a color shift. Uh, they're both color shifts. And these are by Yuli on Etsy. It looks like Dooley, but it's Yuli. And this is her address and these are resin epoxy uh, resin uh, uh, pigments <laughs> Lord and they're color changing anyways they're about 10 bucks for one of these and I went crazy one time so that was a long long time ago let's see when that was December 7th and I'm still using these powders you guys I use them all the time and they're still I've made paint palettes <laughs> They're, they last forever. It takes a microscopic amount of powder to do amazing things. Okay, so on the wings, moving on, we're going to use this beauty. Oh, you can't see it either. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, you'll be able to see it when I buff it into the wings. I hope. I'm going to 
have to use my finger. Can you see that? I might have to put the black lines back in. I got a little much on there, but hollow, right? Hollow. Look at that rainbow. <laughs> so seriously, see, I'm just like, now watch. So I just put a little bit on there. I shouldn't have rubbed my thing too hard, but that will cover up when we resin it. It will disappear. You won't see that at all. But I do have to put the lines back in my wings. <laughs> Pretty, huh? Now we got a chrome dragonfly. And then watch. So when we put the 3D wings on, can you see where I'm going with it now? Can you see me now? I think I want to offset them just a bit. Like so. See? What do you guys think? Do you like my idea? Do you think we could do something with it? Do you think it would work? Do you think people will like 3D paintings on rocks? <laughs> or am I just, you know, being psycho over here? <laughs> so here's the clear one. You could do clear or painted. What do you like? I like the painted one, but I like the rainbow effect. there. I'm going to turn off the flash so we could also see it in natural light. Oh, it's beautiful. <gasps> Guys. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm a nut. So, yeah, there's that. I'm just going to clean up a little bit from around the wings. It's just a dry swab. Ooh, get off of there. They were just sticking up because they're the nail glue is a bit sticky there. I'm going to foil the eyes with that meshy foil I have. Do you guys want me to do that live or do you want me to go ahead and start resining? Oh, I got to color this wing. Sorry. What, what did I use on the wings? I'll call ink. I'll call ink. Okay, so I got to think of what I put here. I think it was this one. If not, it'll be close, right? No, it wasn't that one. I think it was this one. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Julie's asking, so to apply the chrome powder, did I apply the nail glue cure then apply? That's exactly what I did. And I would have preferred to use top coat because it's not so sticky afterwards, but top, uh, and it's more chrome when you use top coat, believe it or not. So, um, if I were making recommendations, I would say to use top coat instead, UV gel top coat. But if you only have nail glue, it works too, just fine. Um, sorry. I'm trying to remember how I colored the other one. We did it. 
alcohol ink gives it that gives the um the wing parts in there and then i added back in the blue okay good enough so then i'm going to put the um naturalist Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, you can get those from Amazon. I, I highly recommend Yuli on Etsy, though, just because I, I can trust her uh, chrome powder. There's a few chrome powders that um, I've used on Amazon um, that work well. And they are... I'm trying to think. I have a list. Have If anybody's seen it, you can tell me where it's at. See, Margie Brody keeps track of me. She keeps me all sorted in, in the guides and the and where everything is filed. But I have a list. I think it's in the announcements, you guys. It's my favorite products or my favorite or my list of art supplies. And there are chrome powders in there that I trust from Amazon. And again, I'll link that list too. It's my it's called my wish list, but it's not a wish list. It's just a list of products that I have purchased and used and trust and think that you guys would like if that makes sense not that I recommend you go out and buy it all Julie Julie I think you may have that list actually I colored on the wrong side of this wing but I don't think it's going to matter Are you guys having fun? So who was going to remind me to plug in my battery tonight? There, we're plugged in. Holy moly, I almost did it again, you guys. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to pop these back in here real quick before I put the resin down. Wow, I can't even see. Okay, I gotta turn it back off for a minute so I can see. Okay, so I think there's a piece like that and like that. Looks good to me, right? What do you guys think? <laughs> we are so almost there. Man, dragonfly wings are magical, aren't they? Okay, so I got a big one here. That's from Naturalist, um, Jennifer. Come on. Okay. 
can't make it focus. Oh my, there we go. Naturalist paint. This, this isn't the paint bottle. I only have a sample of it like this from my dear friend, Lori. Yeah, so Naturalist is where you can get those and it's called Hollow Sparkle. I'm only catching every few comments just because I'm trying to get this finished so we can resin. All right, good enough for the wings. <laughs> right, good enough, guys. Okay, that's just by itself without the wings. If you don't have UV resin, um, you can totally cut out some plastic. Okay, say you have some package, okay? Um, like, check this out, like this, okay? It's just a piece of plastic from an order of LA Coat, the eyeshadows, the dollar store eyeshadows came in that thing. Okay, so see the wing shape? Bend it here, okay? And then you can apply it, or bend it this way actually. You can glue it to your thing the same way and color it with your pens the same way. So this is for my non-resin users. So I seriously just cut out a very, very mild <laughs> or a very messy circle here. So obviously take your time and cut it out, you know, the way you want it. But look, alcohol markers work right on any kind of surface. So just color it up the way you want it. And if you keep messing around with alcohol ink, it'll give you those like veins, like wings in there. See if you keep doing it, how it spreads like that. And if you press harder, it does even like bigger chunky sections. It's basically like doing alcohol ink, but in a marker. It, it is alcohol ink, but you know what I'm getting at here. Anyway, so this is just plastic packaging see that so you have a wing there and then paint it with your whatever whatever you have so if you don't have naturalist let me see okay here is full spectrum dragonfly glaze okay we'll just give this a little squirt this one is opaque sort of and you have to wait for it to dry clear but same idea, right? Just um, apply it like so. And when it dries, you've got your wings to apply. See? Kind of same difference. The difference with the resin wings, obviously, is they're more customizable and they'll last longer and resin bonds to resin so when I put these on the resin is going to absorb the tip of this so they're going to be there they're going to be part of the rock okay so one more quick thing and then we will move on to sealing in the rock. We 
you guys happen to know what I did with my fun foil. <laughs> Foil glue. I'm gonna do some eyeballs here. Just pop. I'm just going to hit it with this light here and we're going to find fun like either honeycomb or dots let's see and some hair anybody want a hairball <laughs> I don't even know where that is because I don't have black hair hmm <laughs> what was that fishy fishy <laughs> Okay, I think we're going to do this dotty one again. I love this one. Let me show you. Let me get a piece of it. This is my favorite box of foil of all times. You guys have seen it over and over and over and over again. But I absolutely love this set. Love it. Alright, I'm not going to focus on that. I am going to show you. See these dots in here? What is up with the focus? See the dots? Yep, those are the eyes. So, one little eye, two little eye. Save these, put them in a pile, save them for later. And we're ready to resin. I gotta move my stuff, guys. I got a mess again. Look at this. <laughs> All for you. will work for foil. I need to get a sign and stand outside. Will work for foil. Are we ready? Do you guys see what I missed? Don't forget to sign your artwork. And then I'll be painting over the back to black it out. All right, Mr. Resin, do your thing. Here we go. Resin coat. I did have enough for a rock left. I didn't feel like I did. There was enough. There might even be enough for another one. I was so afraid to use it because I thought I would run out <laughs> and not be able to finish a rock. Okay, so I like to use a brush so I don't have to touch it because I've been getting it, look, I'll show you, I've been getting it up above my gloves, see the burns I get? So, I even got long gloves and it didn't help. <laughs> I get it on me, I don't know how. So I'm trying not to touch it. So try not to make bubbles, but you want to have enough on here, on your rock. Don't like drown it, but you want to have enough so that you can attach the wings. I'm not a pro. This is the first time I've done this, but I've attached other things before in the resin. So let's, let's hope. Okay, you want to make sure you got it evenly coated. If you're using a brush, do your torch. If you're adding any rhinestones, now is the time. You know, I would, but I actually think I put them away. <laughs> no, I didn't. Here they are. We gotta have rhinestones, right? Doesn't wet resin just call for rhinestones?
Okay, I had to touch it. Sorry, there's a drip. <laughs> Rhinestone. Okay, we're going to grab the wings. This one goes here. And give it a little torch. Just a bitty, not a lot, because we still got to attach the other side. Make sure it's still wet. Oh, I want them offset just a bit. I need another hand. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. There we go. Stay, 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 stay. Okay, one at a time, people, one at a time. Yes! Experiment. I'm calling it a success, even though Mr. Resin is not fully cured. But they are on there. I gotta... I want to squeal, but I don't know if that's appropriate. <laughs> So excited about this you guys okay I'm putting it on a riser rock because I want the edges to cure when you put it up on a riser rock make sure you have separation see I have this paper under it because it'll glue itself to the rock all right here we go in the in the oven to cook which is an 84 watt beetles I'm so excited I know the spots on the tail but I got lazy with the rhinestone. <laughs> I gotta change the gloves. This was kind of a tester rock to see if it would work. I think it's turned out quite pretty though. I may have to give it to someone. So to clean the, sometimes the powder is real hard to get off of these, just use a little alcohol. Aww. Oh, pick me, oh, pick me. Let me run back through the feed here and see. Oh, dinner for cute Snoopy. Um, Judy asked if I resin the back side as well. I do. I'm, I have to paint the back side um, black because it has something else over there. So I'll be doing that first and then I'll be resining the back side. With UV resin, you can only do one side at a time, so not a big thing if you're doing regular resin absolutely have all of your painting done first all of it 100% of your painting done before you start resin resining I'm cleaning my brush with 90% alcohol 91% alcohol it will not get all the resin out but it will make it to where I can use it a couple of more times before I toss it these are very cheap dollar store brushes. I know it's a pretty good brush for the dollar store, but. It came two in a pack. Let's see what we got here. Look, guys. I'm totally, totally impressed. Look at those wings. Oh. 
Now, there's not even, see, because resin bonds to resin so good. I'm gonna have to turn the flash off for this. <laughs> There's just too much bling going on here. Let me see if I can raise it up. Because resin bonds to resin, you don't even really have a seam here. Not not really. Not a lot. There's a tad bit, but... Look how perfect those are. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clap. Because <laughs> I'm a dork. <laughs> I am so happy about this, you guys. And see, what if we went on here? I don't even know what time it is. But it didn't take that long to do this entire rock. Like, what, an hour, maybe? And it wouldn't take that long. If, you know, if you're just tootling along on your own, it wouldn't take that long. So... I'm just going to go over real quickly what we did again. So to brush up with the people who didn't weren't here the whole time. Okay, so to start, we had a blue sky background. And that is a different tutorial, but it's basically watercolor with a wrinkled up paper towel, removing some of the color to get the white puppy clouds. Okay, then I had already put a dragonfly on here and I drew in the body. And then I kind of drew on these wings, you know, like so. And then um, I put the wings underneath this piece of window film that is taped down to a piece of hard plastic. can be a piece of packaging. I use um, Dollar Tree plastic cutting boards, chopping mats. <laughs> Anyways, this Homian window film, or Homian I mean, yo homie, it's homie and I don't know what it is. <laughs> Homing. Anyways, this is it. See the rainbow? This is key if you want to do them this way. You don't have to do them on this. You can do them on, on a silicone mat. You can do them on the plastic mats that I showed you from the Dollar Tree. Topping mats. These are two for a buck at the Dollar Tree. They're plastic. They have a slick side and a not slick side and they're great for resin. If you're going to do resin, do it on the slick side. If you want it to be shiny. If you don't want it shiny, do it on the other side. Anyways, this stuff I dig because that rainbow transfers to your resin. So we applied the resin to here and then uh, cured it for 60 seconds and then directly when it came out, you peel it up from this part first so that you get that little bend here so this part is right here you peel it up that way first peel it off while it's warm and pliable and then let it cool with the bend in it and the bend is there now the bend whoops okay need to it's still wet under there okay you're going back in the cure that's a good catch so this will probably need Mr. Resin usually takes about three 120 cycles, so I only did it for one because I'm so excited about it. I wanted to play with it, <laughs> but let it cure for the whole time. Anyway, so um, after we peeled them off of there, we used alcohol markers. I used Ohuhu. That doesn't matter. Brand doesn't matter. You could even use alcohol ink with a brush. I just grabbed a few different colors. These are not them. Of the markers, colored the wings in. Kind of like this. And then I applied the Naturalist Hollow Sparkle Paint to the wing. And when that dried, we applied the resin, well, we painted the dragon. I don't know if you guys heard that. Sorry, I had to pause for a second. That's cool that it paused and didn't kill my live. <laughs> I had an amber alert come on my phone. It was actually a silver alert. Bless them. I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> oh, painting the dragonfly on the rock. Um, watercolor markers is what I used so that I could get it to blend really nicely. And then we applied nail art foil glue, which I really want to recall and use top coat just because it's easier and a little more bronzy. Or, you know, when you use the chrome powder. Um... You apply that, cure it for a cycle, which is about 60 seconds, and then apply your powders. I think I put them away. Oh no, here they are. Your chrome powder, 
apply your chrome powder. To the top of the we did the chrome powders in here right when that was done I applied the foil to the eyes did the chrome powder on the wings as well and then uh, base coated it not base coated it <laughs> I put a coat of resin on there UV mr. resin applied the rhinestones attached the wings and stuck it in the UV light and here we are and I am happy to report that I'm very excited. So you guys like it? Hi, Rosanna. Let me see who else is on here. So that's what I got for you guys today. I want to say thank you very much, everybody, for hanging out with me. Always. You guys are always so, so good to me. I appreciate it. You don't even know how much I appreciate you. So have a happy, happy Tuesday night, and I will check back in with you guys tomorrow, hopefully. If not, very soon I'll be live again. I'll see you later.